at our favorite place to be, the studio. And we're about to be working on skit number 15 for episode number 15. By the time you guys see this, it's out. How you feeling, Nate? I feel good. Nate is going for a Western cowboy. We'll update you guys, take y'all along with the process of skit number 15. But we're just filming studio footage today, and then the next time we link up with RJ, we're gonna be filming we roll footage and building our town of Malibu, which is where our skit is based. So, yeah, let's get it. Day one, skit number 15. Y'all didn't even know we was this fancy. Look at this. I'm showing the secret sauce. We making movies, man. It ain't nothing but a tool. Or when it gets to that final spot, then it's all action. He starts talking. So you wanted to be, you wanted to be here. Here when he starts talking. Okay. Here. All right. So this part, I want to just start off by looking down. Yeah, really looking down. Yeah. yeah. I found my stuff that's loose. That's cool. That's I, good. I, I, I was off with my crown too. I should have did. Good. That's I what I gave you by. You know, say it for a second. Say it right now. I found my stuff. Who's thinking? I found myself asking myself the same questions I was in the end. Okay. Alright. Hey! Give him a different position. Hey! Our hardest thing in this whole skit is that I want no cars. And whenever we start shooting outside, I want there to be no cars. Because technically we're in the horse age. <laughs> and look how many cars is outside. How the hell do we get rid of all the cars? She lied to me. She lied to her other hood. That was good. That was really good. My bad. Proud of you. I'm gonna just look off like this. I'm gonna dramatically look at the camera. Did your dad tattoo this back in the day? I didn't want to. I didn't want to ask that. I was looking off. Like, Should I show my hands? Perfect time. Should I show my hands? Do what you need to do. You think oh, like your dad tattooed you back in the day? I do. You yeah. don't have to. I'm a bounty. You're right. right. You can't take the tattoos out. You're right. <laughs> Understood that. Understood that. Uh, that was okay. I can use it. Yeah, I can use it. All right, here we go. So it wasn't a surprise to me when I fell into the same life that my grandma and my mama told me to stay far, far away from. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just got real emotional. I was about to cry. You ain't see it. The camera did. So, just so y'all know, we did the Billion Berry Rewards. Shout out to One Piece. I took that straight from my favorite anime. Uh, their bounties are in berries. So. Spikes. Spikes. <laughs> you like that? Alright, y'all. That is a wrap on day one of episode 15. We just filmed all of our talking scenes. That's literally all the talking that we're doing for this skit. And yeah, that's a wrap. Shout out RJ as always, our cameraman for life. All right, y'all, it is day two of filming episode 15 skit. We are in downtown Punta Tula today, and we're filming all of our B roll footage, and now we're just getting cinematic shots. Yeah. Shout out RJ. RJ's here. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should definitely use these antique stores, both of them. If we get cars, y'all, we get them. But. If we can I'll get no cars, stuff. it's gonna add to it. Yo, please tell Nate that in the 19 in the 1900s or whatever time, they did not have BB Simon Bell. Hell no, man. What the what fuck the going fuck, on? Man. I'm invited this week. But anyway, y'all, this is our costumes for today's shoot. Bus. It's on, it's on. So it could stop. Look at this, y'all. It's called a mono. Monopod. Monopod. It means one. We're gonna have Nate come out. He's gonna. Do a little one-two look, see his bounty poster, get it, ball it up, throw it, walk off frame. Oh, okay, that's the bounty poster there. Yeah. Action. I don't think he can hear you. Let the wind calm down for a second. Actually, get closer to like start over and actually like kind of like. Let it glance, like glance at it, let it catch your eye, then kind of like, yeah, react to it. Almost like a double take, yeah. All these people, what are you doing? Oh. Focus? Oh, fuck no. Oh, damn. Get me right, brother. 
Nick, I'm getting Sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm not focused. Oh my god. You know what I mean? Oh. Like maybe I'm the one blurred, but it's clear. But it's clear? Yeah. Do you think so? Sometimes. That is a wrap on day two of skit number 15. We have one more day and it's gonna be our final day. So yeah. You see this motherfucker? If you see her, you find her, you let me know because I'm looking for her. <laughs> yeah, y'all. This is the last day of filming. Uh, this is day three of skit number 15. So, we're wrapping it up. We got permission from our moms to shoot in here. We also got permission from Tacos and Beer. Shout out our mom. Shout out Tacos and Beer. I really just want their bartender to serve us a beer. Like a beer, like a pitcher thing. Because that's what I wanted a scene of. It's like a beer. I don't see that here. It's just like a mason jar. They had those back then. But these are the fits for today. I went real blue eyes with a touch of the brown type shit. With the, the brown boot and the brown details and the hat type shit. White, white type shit. You already know. It's back in the day, but I'm still fly. You gonna be casual, all black for the bounty man, you know. That's how real thing is for all black people. Like ride off the horse at night. You know, I'm just all black down to the. Uh. What's, the what's, your, what's the name of your horse? My horse? Midnight. You took my shit. I, I knew this thing was gonna say midnight. Yeah, right, right. Right. My horse name is Moon. Moon, okay. That's different. You hate him. My horse name is Spirit, if you know, you know. The movie! The movie Spirit with the horses, yeah! So what color is the horse? My horse is brown with like white patches. Like all white with brown patches. I think mine would be like a grayish. Like, has like, 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 Two, one, action. Right? Look at my face, bro. What comes we in tacos up here, drunk. What comes with drinking? Come, on, turn this shit around on me, man. Yeah, put it. <laughs> What comes with drinking? Piss. I gotta take a piss. Go ahead, go. I'm gonna set up these for one <laughs> So, we gotta finish this beer because we didn't pay for it now. Even though it's a prop, I'm gonna show you how we get now. What about check the whole thing? Yeah. Now you try the whole thing, bro. I literally like, I give you $100. Your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. RJ, your turn. RJ, your turn. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Yup, go, go. Why you show your age? Two shots of vodka. A few moments later. Hire 50 cows. Hire 50 cows. I got no cows. This is why you don't book with black people. I just want y'all to know we only maybe like two hours into filming and Nate broke his gun. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, yeah, no, man. Man. no, don't try to fix it now, handy manny. Look at my gun, y'all, and it makes a noise. Look at it, look at it, look at that. Yeah, your gun don't even make the noise what? anymore. Look at that. Wow. Me right there, you right there. Well, you right there. Because I think you need to be on the left. Yeah. Yeah, so you right there, you right there. You like that? You like that? All right. Hey, this is how Willie will be if we lose the battle. Nah, I'll be a simple. I'll be a simple. Come on, you ready? Three, two, one. You dead. Nah. Who you dead? Nah. Who did that faster? Three. Your hand is on the gun. It can't be. No, it's supposed to be off the gun. Okay. Three, two, one. Can we just. You dead. I'm the director of photography. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. All right. Fine. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Hold on. Wanna come look at it? Oh, I gotta get oh, you. Yeah, I gotta it. come get your angle too, though. Oh, 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 oh. Enthusiasm, but why don't you? Okay. 
Where are we? I forgot where the fuck we were. Happy, Happy Woods. Woods. Where's my car at? <laughs> Or Calvin Klein. Calvin the time when they made it, you were like the richest motherfucker to get that shit. Cause I got that shit on, huh, twin? Like, yeah, like yeah, twin. Yeah, twin. Something like that. Yeah, twin. Let's hurry up. All right. Get on rank. Don't beat that fucking. And three. All right, what's up, y'all? I am currently at an event by myself. Nate is not here, so when he sees this, I want you to know all that shit was so heavy, and for you to make me do this by myself is insane. But. I'm at Southern University. This is what the booth looking like right now. Good spirit world clothing vibes. It's real chill, man. It's real chill. We got a big old round table. Five dollar, ten dollar bin. We got our shirts. You know, how, you know how the graphics do. Tay just copped the first item of the day. Big, big Hello Kitty vibes. Hold on, big Hello Kitty vibes. So, so what's tea over here? What do you need? Okay, so this is spirit world clothing. Alright y'all, so that's a wrap type shit. Um, I was here for exactly an hour. Yeah. But oh god, but hold on, let me let me tell you how much money I made. Hold on. Eighty dollars. I think I think really a hundred because I got ten on cash out, but I ain't got cash out. So really a hundred dollars. I'm done. That's all I had to do. That's an extra hundred dollars in my pocket that I didn't have yesterday. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, I finally made it. I'm here. All right. Nate's first solo event is me. Monty's gone right now, but I've made it. I just set up the tent. I'm finna finish setting up. Shout out Taylor. She helped me set up the tent, so shout out her. But um, I'm here. I'm here. But it's a good day. It's uh. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30. Let's get on, early start. Let me know if you need something, alright? Got you, guys. Hey, Chris is gonna go next to you guys. It's rock and roll, baby. Yes, rock sir. Roll. Yes, sir. Well, I hope. Damn, that's on my face. I finally set up. I'm done setting up. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. It's set up. I'm done. We chilling right now. We waiting. Everybody else setting up. Spare road. We here. We landed. Let's just see what happens. Look who's up put up on me. Really focus. Anyways, so far it's good. Got a little traction. Anyways, y'all, sorry I had to cut that off short. I was talking to my cameraman. Make sure my pictures are getting edited. But then look at look at us. Look at us. Look at us. A little traction, a little traction, a little something. But it's a good day. It's still kinda early. I think it's gonna pick up after the farm, the farmers market ends at like noon, and it's gonna pick up more. But so far, it's good. Got a lot of boots out here. Spare world, come check us out. We having a good time. It's just so, so hot, though. So hot. All right, let's go. Two, one, eight. Happy birthday, Nathan, y'all. I want y'all to know I just tweeted this morning that I was done drinking. Yeah. Not on my birthday. But for 8th annual, I'm going to do it. Happy birthday, 8. He's 45. My knees hurt, man. 45! Bobby, Bobby. Today is the day. The annual Spiro race is underway and the entire town is invested. 
Amani owns the name Whitaker about to take the lanes, and from what I have heard, the crowd is electric. We have our own man of the streets, Marcus Burnett, reporting live from the track. Marcus, are you there? Hi. Huh? Are we on? Hello, y'all. It's me, Marcus Burnett, and I'm live from Spirit World Stadium. And it is booming right now. The annual Spirit World race is going on. People been lined up since 6 a.m. trying to get front row seats to this amazing race. It's going crazy. Good to hear you're in good spirits, Marcus. Have you seen the racers yet? No, I've not seen the racers yet, but I did get a little word in from the coaches. All they said was no comments. They're kind of rude, but it's a big moment right now for them. So when the racers warm up, I'm going to get on the track. I'm going to talk to them. Spirit World Studio will be the first ones to get word from them about how they feel about the race going forth. So we'll see. That's good to hear, Marcus. Speaking of our celebrity racers, the two had a lot to say at the official press conference. Here's some exclusive footage we obtained from the event. Amani, how have you been preparing for the race tomorrow? Preparing? I could have done the race today if it wasn't for this press conference. I don't got to do much training to beat this You know, her snack talk really don't get to me no more. She just really cocky because she ran trap. And she wasn't even that fast. To be honest, her mind gonna be blown once she see me in front of her. And it's cool. Because I know she gonna see is the back of my head. So I don't have to look at her ugly face. But Daniel. Are you nervous at all? Hell yeah, you nervous. I could've took a shower with the sweat coming off that nigga before we Nervous? Not at all. Think I gotta be nervous about Monty? Me and my team, we train hard. We here to take first place. I just hope she's ready to stand in second place. How are you planning on spending that prize money? I plan on using it to further my music career. Oh, please. Ain't nobody listening now, and ain't nobody listening no more. Just like your streams, ain't nobody watching you now, they're definitely not gonna watch after he loses. After I lose, I'ma win. And when I win, I'm gonna spend all that money on that stream when we be hating on. As if the background matters when the dead sloth is behind the camera. Well, that was intense. As you can see, tensions are high between the opponents, and this will be a race to remember. I hope you place your bets. Now, back to Marcus. Hello, viewers. The race is about to begin, and I'm telling you right now, the aura in the stadium is wild right now. I got the racers behind me warming up, getting ready for their race. They're so determined. You just got to be here. They ain't speak to each other. Their teams didn't speak. They really locked in right now. They really determined, so we're going to see how this race goes. I'm going to see y'all after the race. with an eventful start and the Preakness winner real quiet to the outside for a clear shot at the lead Grand Slam trying to get by him 20 years in the waiting one furlong to go and as they arrive at the top of the stretch but here comes his rival Victory Gallup as they come to the final 16 it's going to be very close a picture is worth a thousand words this photo is worth five million dollars Marge Burnett here, live from Spirit World Arena, and I'm here with the winner of the race right now, Nate. Tell me how you feel and what's going through your head right now. I'm hot, I'm tired, but I feel great. I won, I knew I would. I'm better than Monty. I always told her I was, she ain't believe me. And I hope for the day, it proves me right every time. And that you are, so please tell me what you're gonna do now after this race you just won. Well, you know what they say, there's only one place you can go after this, and that's Spirit World. 
where I'm heading right now. Love y'all. Great. Well, that's it, folks. Live from Spare World Arena. I am Marcus Burnett, and that one hell of a race. We hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to Spare World TV. Our next episode is coming soon. Like two days, three days, maybe a week, maybe a month, what? a year, maybe two. That ain't soon. That ain't soon. That ain't soon. That ain't soon. Take it slow, dirty cup all up in my system Leave me alone, hold them lies, I know you kiss them You know you wrong, but I can't act like I'm the victim Cause I got hoes, but these bitches really wicked I need more, being broke my only symptom in this cold There's not just Sprite in this liquid, now I know Chicken hoes really got shit twisted. I keep a pole and that squash and shit addictive. Take it slow, dirty cup all up in my system. Leave me alone, hold them lies. I know you kissed them, you know you wrong. But I can't act like I'm the victim. Cause I got hoes, but these bitches really weak. I actually was very great at track and I won a lot of championships, so I could have went all the way, I just didn't run my senior year. I didn't run my senior year because they needed me to have a full schedule and I didn't want to go to school all day, so I have medals. Drop out of college, I don't care.